forests are the ultimate boredom buster. When it comes to dealing with cabin fever, we've shown you how to make a basic box fort a couple of years ago. But today we're kicking things up a notch with a greenhouse game room. We're being joined by Regan, Regan Duval, the safety and quality control director at Jans Corporation. She's here to guide me in building a sort of four season for it that can be just about anything you want, including a greenhouse or a game room. And I threw this out at you because I love spending time in town. We have those geodesic domes around yes. that you can do the games and stuff. And the thing about those, if you want to make your own, is that it's pretty expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can get kits, but they're spendy. They're really spendy, like several hundred dollars. Yeah. And so we started talking about how to build our own, and um, I came up with a different structure, and I sent you this image, which we can share. This is sort of my vision, right? So it's more of a shed type structure than a geodesic dome because the yeah. fittings are maybe easier. Yeah, for sure. But I still don't know what I'm doing. Right? I don't either, but okay. we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. okay, so to start us off, um, the supplies are basically going to be the PVC pipe. Yep. A variety of footings, which we'll go over. Yep. How to cut it. Um, now, for my plan, let's run this by you. I, it's going to be uh, six by eight with a seven foot peak. I knew I had to get to a 45 degree angle for for the fittings, um, so I kind of went from there and I measured around it and I came up with that I would need about 120 linear feet of PVC pipe and so that's what we have. Yes. Is that an okay way to do it? Yes, I think so. Okay. And I don't think, um, I think starting where you did with a rough draft with some general measurements is the perfect place to start. And it's not that hard to cut this stuff, so cut it long and then check and see if it's going to be level. And if not, cut it a little bit off. It's not that, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated. Don't make it as complicated right. as I'm making it, I think, right. is the key. <laughs> um, for the fittings, just yes. to go over it, like the things that I got that I think are necessary are for the roof I've got, I don't know, what are the technical names for these? Just three-way three elbow? Three-way elbow. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to need the 45-degree angles, a lot of these, like T's. Yeah. And then a couple of these four ways. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think, too, um, one thing I really appreciate about your design is you may do with the fittings you could find. Right. So for joints like where the roof's going to be, there didn't exist this perfect fitting that was a 45 and went this way and went that way and went down. Mm -hmm. But that's where we can kind of just measure and cut. And now we'll be able to add some lateral bracing this way. We'll be able to add bracing this way and we'll be able to go up for our peak. Okay. So if you find these basic ones, you can totally make it work. Okay. If you cannot find what, exactly what you want. Which is hard to do. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> can you walk me through, because I was trying to draw and measure everything and you said, you yes. know what, let's start from the ground up and let's make this easier. Okay, so yeah, great, uh, great example. Um, she had her, her main dimensions in mind. I think that was perfect. But then we're thinking we want to add some lateral bracing this way. So I want a, a pipe to run from here to here just to provide some stability. Right. Um, what I think is easiest, and this is just how my non-math brain works. Which we can all identify with. Yes. I'm just going to put a footing on so it's sitting about the same. And then I am just going to say, well, I want it to, you know, the pipe to be here. The pipes only slide in maybe half an inch or so, so I'll just kind of eyeball it, mark like that, and then cut it. Okay, and then that's going to be a lot easier than and just build as we go than me yes. trying to figure out every single yes. dimension. Yes, I think, and I think you you just hold it up, you eyeball it. There's some play with these, so you can adjust a little bit within the pipe. Okay, so while you have that marked, you want to show us um, one of the ways to cut and maybe talk us through yeah. some of the other options. So super easy tools for this job. You can get a PVC pipe cutter. Um, they're not expensive. It was like under two dollars. Yeah, yeah, they're very exp inexpensive. So you essentially just fit this around the pipe and spin it. So when Should you know where you this? want your, yeah, that'd be great. When you know where you want to make your cut, you just kind of ratchet it until you're lined up and then all you do is spin. You oh, you want, no, no, don't yeah, hold it so tight. Okay. <laughs> and then you just kind of apply some more pressure and spin. And then you can easily kind of cut these with pretty minimal effort and yes. a pretty low amount. So then yes. now that this is cut, it would go in the fitting here and then we would add. We can add our four-way at this point, yeah. right? Because we'll want to go up and over. And so I'm going to get the four-way piece and then I'll put that in here. And Perfect. So because, then we could add yeah. right there. And since you're, we're kind of doing this as we go, what I'm going to do is we're going to finish. I'm going to finish building it. I'll put all the measurements online in the article so that if you don't want to build as you go, you can use yes, our guide because we're yes. going to figure it out for you. Yes. But this is the way that we're just going to kind of like assemble it and we're going to have cross bracing and then 
the peak will be here. Yeah, and I think when you're done, if it seems like a little wonky, like it could mm -hmm. tip over, you could certainly add some uh, triangular bracing or even like wire tie downs if you're going to put it in your yard. Mm -hmm. You could tie it down. Now let's talk a little bit about the covering because there's a variety of ways we can do this. I do have this sheeting that's clear. Um, you could use greenhouse sheeting, yes. you can use a vinyl, but you're going to show us one final yeah. tip here on getting this to lay over. So my, my thought process when you showed me this is you're not going to find a tarp that's the exact right size. Nope. So you'll just buy a roll of plastic. Um, thicker will probably be a little less likely to rip in the South Dakota wind. Right. <laughs> now I, I found three milliliter, millimeter there, which is probably not as thick as I could go, but it was $10, so I can also replace it. Yes. So if the wind rips a hole in it, make a new one. Yep. And it is not hard to add your own tie down hole at all. Okay. Also super affordable, no power tools needed. Um, you can get one of these kits, I think Ace Hardware's got them, so you can get one of these and all you do, I recommend wherever you're going to have your, you know, maybe you figure out we're going to need a tie down right here. Mm -hmm. I'd recommend accounting to fold it in half okay. just to strengthen it just a little bit um, and to use this tool it comes with everything you need. You first just kind of want to mark where your little grommet's going to go. That's what that's for. So now I kind of have a line there for that. And now I put this little, they call it an anvil, under it. I put this over the top. And then all you do is start hammering. And then you give it a little spin. So we're hammering all the sides. I'm really glad you're doing this. I've been doing this myself and never spinning it. I mean, it probably could No, it's out. better. I don't know if that's enough. Let me take a look. Yeah. So then and there you pull have... your plastic out and you have a place for your zip ties. And it's a nice reinforced grommet basically so that it's not going to rip through. Right. And you're going to have right. it really easily done. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all of our supplies. We're just going to keep building this and yes. have, a, have a really fun fort that we can hang out outside. Play some games. I love this. And I think your tips are great. Just build from the bottom up and we're going to be able to make it happen. Yes, we all will. Right. We can do it. We can. Women rule the world. Yes, Thank you so much. <laughs>